Capital Gazette reporter tweets horror of latest mass shooting. Another mass shooting has taken place in America. On Thursday afternoon, a gunman broke into the offices of the Capital Gazette in Maryland, opening fire and killing at least five individuals and wounding many others. According to law enforcement officials, an unnamed suspect is in custody, but very little is known about him at the moment. Update. The suspect has been identified as 38-year-old Jared Ramos. He once filed a defamation lawsuit against the newspaper that was thrown out, we can confirm, however, that the suspect was found hiding under a desk inside the building and that a package, or carrying device of some kind, which contained a flammable liquid, was discovered near him on the ground. Police have also said the suspect was an adult male and that he used a long gun to carry out his massacre. More than 170 people were in the building during the shooting. Those who did not suffer any injuries were evacuated and taken to a reunification area. Among those unharmed was reporter Phil Davis, who has made headlines for tweeting a few details from the awful incident. There is nothing more terrifying than hearing multiple people get shot while you're under your desk and then hear the gunman reload, Davis tweeted at one point on Thursday, adding, Gunman shot through the glass door to the office and opened fire on multiple employees. Can't say much more and don't want to declare anyone dead, but it's bad. A single shooter shot multiple people at my office, some of whom are dead. In a later interview posted on the newspaper's website, Davis said the scene inside the newspaper's office was like a war zone, expounding, I'm a police reporter. I write about this stuff, not necessarily to this extent but shootings and death, all the time. But as much as I'm going to try to articulate how traumatizing it is to be hiding under your desk, you don't know until you're there and you feel helpless. Elsewhere, Jimmy DeButts, an editor at the Capital Gazette, tweeted that he was devastated and heartbroken, explaining why it is he and his co-workers do the jobs they do, we keep doing more with less. We find ways to cover high school sports, breaking news tax hikes, school budgets and local entertainment. We are there in times of tragedy. We do our best to share the stories of people, those who make our community better. Please understand, we do all this to serve our community. Along these lines, the newspaper has said it has no plans of going on hiatus or taking any sort of break. I can tell you this, we are putting out a damn paper tomorrow, reporter Chase Cook tweeted. President Donald Trump, has has often referred to the press as the enemy of the people, something he reiterated two days ago at a rally in South Carolina, chimed in as follows on social media, prior to departing Wisconsin, I was briefed on the shooting at Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, Maryland. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. Thank you to all of the first responders who are currently on the scene. Added the First Lady on Twitter. Today's violence at the Capitol Gazette was tragic and evil. My heart goes out to all affected in this brutal and senseless attack, and I send thoughts and prayers for comfort to the friends, family and colleagues of those killed and injured. An Arundel County Police spokesman Lt. Ryan Frasher said that officers were on the scene very, very quickly, I think it was around 60 seconds or a minute and a half after receiving the call about the active shooter. As of this writing, the suspect is said to not be cooperating with police. Here is a look at the building where the shooting took place. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan has also released a statement about this shooting at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, saying at a press conference, We are terribly saddened by the loss of five members of our community in today's heinous shooting. The Capitol Gazette is my hometown paper, and I have the greatest respect for the fine journalists, and all the men and women, who work there. They serve each day to shine light on the world around us so that we might see with more clarity and greater understanding. There is no place in our society for this kind of hatred and violence, and the individual responsible for this horrendous crime must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Update, An Arundel Police Deputy Chief Bill Krempf has now confirmed this was a targeted attack against the newspaper.